Isaiah 42. Behold, my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one, on whom my soul is well pleased. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry out or raise his voice, nor make his voice heard in the street. A crushed reed he will not break, and a faintly burning wick he will not extinguish. He will bring forth justice and truth. Justice. He will not be faint or crushed until he has established justice in the earth. And the coastlands will wait expectantly for his law. Thus says the God Yahweh, Yahweh, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and its offspring, who gives breath to the people on it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am Yahweh. I have called you in righteousness. I will also take hold of you by the hand and guard you, and I will give you as a covenant to the people, as a light to the nations, to open blind eyes, to bring out prisoners from the dungeon, and those who inhabit darkness from the prison. I am Yahweh. That is my name. I would not give my glory to another, nor my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things have come to pass. Now I declare new things. new things. Before they spring forth, I cause you to hear them. Sing to Yahweh a new song. Sing his praise from the end of the earth. You who go down to the sea, as well as its fullness, you coastlands and those who inhabit them. Let the wilderness and cities lift up their voices. The villages where Kedar inhabits. Let the inhabitants of Selah sing aloud. Let them shout for joy from the tops of the mountains. Let them give glory to Yahweh and declare his praise in the coastlands. Yahweh will go forth like a warrior. He will awaken his zeal like a man of war. He will make a loud shout indeed. He will raise a war cry. He will prevail against his enemies. I have kept silent for a long time. I have kept still and restrained myself. Now like a woman in labor, I will groan. I will both grasp and pant. I will lay waste the mountains and hills and dry up all their vegetation. I will make the rivers into coastlands and dry up the pools of water. I will lead the blind by a way they do not know and paths they do not know, I will guide them. I will make darkness into light before them and rugged places into plains. These are the things I would do and I would not forsake them. They will be turned back and utterly put to shame Who trust in graven images Who say to molten images You are our gods Hear you deaf And look you blind that you may see Who is blind but my servant Or so deaf as my messenger whom I send Who is so blind as he that is at peace with me Or so blind as the servant of Yahweh You have seen many things but you do not keep them Your ears are open but none hears Yahweh was pleased for his righteousness sake that he make the law great and majestic but this is a people plundered and pillaged as spoil all of them are trapped in caves or are hidden away in prisons they are become a plunder with none to deliver them and a spoil with none to say have them returned who among you will give ear to this who will give heed and hear hereafter who gave Jacob up for spoil and Israel to the plunderers was it not Yahweh against whom we have sinned and in whose ways they were not willing to walk and whose law they did not obey? So he poured out on them the heat of his anger and the fierceness of battle and it set him aflame all around, yet he did not know it and it burned him, but he did not set it upon his heart.